on the local station. The morning show starts now. Well, it's something we all do at least once a week, sometimes more, but, you know, American families struggle to pay for clean laundry. In fact, one in four households that live on less than 40000 a year do not have a washing machine at home. According to Feeding America, 34% of low-income families struggled to afford basic household necessities. Three in four families who are unable to afford household necessities skip washing dishes or doing the laundry. And that's why a a local nonprofit is asking for your help to give back to families in need. So joining me this morning is Travis Akers, who volunteers with the Laundry Project. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me here this morning. Absolutely. Real quick, what exactly is the Laundry Project so our viewers know? Yes, the Laundry Project is a nonprofit organization that was founded 15 years ago out of Tampa, just down the road. And this is an organization that helps families in low, com and, uh, low income and underserved communities reach that necessity of having clean clothes by providing free laundry. And talk to us about some of the families that have been helped through this over the years so people understand that this is a real issue affecting our community. Absolutely. As we know, inflation has hit us all in the pocket lately. Uh, but even before the inflation crisis, families across the United States and right here in Florida have been struggling to make ends meet. And it's been very difficult, especially for single mothers, low-income families, those families, like you mentioned, that don't have laundry machines in their home. It's very difficult for them to be able to reach that necessity to have the clean laundry because they want to pay for have food on the table. They have other incomes like rent and other expenses like insurance to pay for. And so it's something that we might not think about every day, but it's a necessity. And there are some events coming up very soon that our viewers need to know about. Tell us about them, Travis. Absolutely. Thanks for asking. Next Saturday on the 29th from 9 a.m. until noon right here in Jacksonville, we will be holding two Laundry Project events, one in the South Side and one in Moncrief uh, on Bay Meadows and Sotel Road. And we're very excited that we will be hosting those events all volunteer driven. We will have volunteers that are providing free laundry for the customers of those laundromats. And we'll also have volunteers who are entertaining and playing with the kids that show up with their families. Well, that's wonderful. If somebody wants to, uh, to give back and they want to volunteer, how can they reach out? Laundrybycurrent.org is our website and that is where you can go to sign up to volunteer. You can also donate on the website there. All of our projects are donor driven, whether it's from businesses or individuals. Each project costs approximately $2,000 uh, to provide that service in our communities. So we welcome people to sign up. We love having new volunteers. We love having returning volunteers. And also donations are welcomed. This is our 15th anniversary. And so we are asking anyone who donates if they have the means to maybe chip in $15 this year. That is wonderful. Travis, we have about 30 seconds left. Talk to us about what this means to you personally. For me, this is just a small way to be able to give back to a community that has given so much to me and my family. And just to know that families have dignity in wearing clean clothes and kids can go to school and to their club meetings in clean clothes is so important because it really just boosts you know, the morale and the pride in people to know that they're able to wear something that's clean and not dirty, something we might take for granted every single day. You know, that's eye-opening because those are the things that so many of us take for granted. Travis, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate this. Thank you.